Today, just about everyone is carrying their mobile phone around with them in their pocket at any given time. If you look around, which actually I've started doing more and more being in this business, you'll notice that no matter where you are, the people around you are pretty much plugged to their mobile phone. So if you're on a plane, if you're on a train, if you're walking down the street, even when you're driving your car down the road, your mobile phone is with you at all times. There was a study that showed that if you lose your mobile phone and you lose your wallet, you're more likely to report your mobile phone stolen first before you report any of your credit cards stolen. Because most people keep their mobile phone numbers for basically their entire lives, it's become a really good way to identify people and their key attributes and to bring that information to online web properties. So what exactly can a phone number tell you about your user? Well, probably a lot more than you think. One of the main use cases for phone verification and phone data is to stop the creation of fake accounts online. Some people don't realize how big of a problem this is, but actually it's been going on for many, many years. Fraudsters have been creating literally millions of fake accounts on some of the websites that you're probably most familiar with. And this causes major problems because fraudsters use these accounts to do things that are annoying or illegal for good users. So for instance, they will post spam, they will fish legitimate users to try to get their usernames and passwords, they will post fake reviews for products and for restaurants and for places, they'll also create fake followers that can be used to boost the popularity of people online. So they're doing all kinds of things with these fake accounts and typically making quite a bit of money doing it. In order to stop that, our clients first started doing phone verification by itself. So users would enter in a phone number and that phone number would need to be verified in order to create the account. And so this made it really, really difficult for fraudsters to script the account creation because for every new account, they had to find a new phone number. However, again, being very crafty and changing things up as they typically do, the fraudsters went online and they found that they could acquire VoIP numbers for cheap, if not free. And these are completely anonymous numbers, so it's impossible to know who's sitting behind them. And so we had to find a way to tell our clients when a VoIP number was being used. Um, so we did. Our clients can now tell if the phone number being entered in online is a VoIP number, whether it's a mobile number, whether it's a landline number. And that was very effective for many, many years and is still quite effective to stopping the creation of fake accounts online. But the most tenacious fraudsters have found that they can now acquire SIM cards typically in the hundreds or thousands at a time uh, in order to create more, uh, more fake accounts. And these SIM cards are typically cheap, if not free. They get activated very quickly. They get used for phone verification and then discarded. And so we are now working directly with mobile operators around the world to pull in phone data that can be used to stop this type of fraud. And the types of data points that we are getting from mobile operators to determine when this is being done are the the account activation date. So we're looking at, hey, was this account created yesterday or was it created 10 years ago? We're also looking at the contract type. So is this a prepaid mobile phone or has someone actually signed up for an ongoing postpaid contract? And then we are also looking at the device information. So has this unique device ID been associated with dozens or hundreds of phone numbers or is it only associated with one phone number? That's the type of information that we're getting that can be very effective and stopping the creation of fake accounts online.